Welcome to the August edition of The Pulse. Uh, we are on location this month in Stone County, and my guest today is Tyler Folks, who is uh, chairman of our advisory board here at Stone County. Tyler, it's a pleasure to visit with you today. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for taking Glad some to time it. to visit with us. So, as always, we like to take some time to, um, to get to know you as an individual and then talk about uh, your role here at Stone County. So tell us a little bit about Tyler, your family, your hobbies, where you work. Yep, so I grew up uh, I grew up in Mountain View and uh, was gone for oh, 12, 14 years for college and lived in Little Rock for a while, Fayetteville for a while. Came back here in 2005 to start and run a location of First Security Bank oh, okay. and uh, retired from that about three years ago and uh, got back into the investments business, which is my original passion, mm -hmm. and have my own investment management firm uh, right. called Sillimore Investments. Right. So I manage money for individuals. Um, I've got two kids, uh, both go to Mountain View schools. Uh, one's going to be a junior, one will be a seventh grader, two boys. And then my wife Jennifer, she's also from here, and she's a pharmacist. Uh, she co-owns uh, Best Drug, Wonderful. which has a new location just about a quarter of a mile here from the, yeah. from the hospital. Beautiful so, campus. Fully invested in uh, Mountain View. Uh, each of us own a small business, so excellent. Uh, it's a great place to live. Excellent. Yeah, that, that local tie is a huge, I think that's one of our biggest assets as an organization, is that, that local local tie and, and passion for the communities that we live in and serve. And so um, so uh, you've been here, you live here, your wife, your families are invested. So t let's talk a little bit about, uh, you know, Stone County is a, such a critical piece of our health system infrastructure. Uh, proud to have it part of, of us, but tell us from your perspective as a community member and, and chairman of the board, your perspective of the, the assets that it brings to this community? Well, you know, Mountain View is a quintessential small town, and, um, you know, most small towns are not doing very well. You know, it's hard to survive as a small town. Mountain View is doing relatively well. When I first came back here, I really felt like there were three key things to keep Mountain View thriving, and that was tourism, which is very important to Mountain View. Sure. Education, we've got a great school system, we need to keep that, and then health care. We, we attract a lot of retirees, but what I learned at the bank was when those retirees come here, as they get older and they start consuming more health care, if they feel like they can't get good health care where they live, mm -hmm. they won't stay. They'll, right. they'll move back to, to be closer to their children or to a larger area right. because of that health care. So um, all three of those are critically important, and, and the hospital, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't survive without it. Um, and the hospital's been here a long time you know we've really grown the past few years and, and added a lot of services and it seems to be transitioning from a place where traditionally people thought of the hospital as where I go when I get sick yes. and so now they're starting to you know take part in the, the rehab services and the mm -hmm. lab work and the x-rays and, and starting to think of it as a place to you know come and and have their health care taken care yeah. of just instead of where I where I go when I get sick yeah so, and we've had a, a great opportunity recently to even go beyond that, go beyond these walls. You know, obviously we talk a lot about, we always will have to have that portion where we're here for when bad things happen that you can't plan for. We certainly, as, as consumers and uh, as just humans, we need to take better care of ourselves to live a great quality of life. And we've had a great opportunity in this, in this uh, community to do an event outside of the walls, very proactive about healthcare, and so I know you had you were involved with the Raccoon Creek Crusher, and, and tell us your how that was received in the, in the community. Yeah, in, in June we uh, Jody Smotherman and his group put yeah. on the Raccoon Creek Crusher, yeah. uh, which was a 40k, it was a 7k run, and a 33 mile uh, bike ride, mm -hmm. and it was a great event. There was a good turnout, and you know it was promoting. Uh, wellness and bringing in tourists yeah and then they donated all the proceeds to the public schools so yeah. kind of hit on all three of those things yeah. I was talking about yeah. earlier but it was a great event and uh, if they have it again I think it can be bigger and better yeah and, um, yeah. and it was it was it was great wonderful yeah it was exciting to be able to, to do that and, and get to know our community a little better and say don't we're not just in our four walls we're part of you we care about you we want to be here to serve so I um, appreciate uh, you being part of that. And thanks for visiting with us today. Hey, really a pleasure to be here and in your backyard and, and visit with you. We 
appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. Thanks. Enjoyed it. You bet. Likewise. Our employees of the month for the month of August at Stone County, Chanel Buscard from the respiratory department has been with us for nine years and she's been recognized for being a great help to other departments and for her work ethic. Chanel, thank you so much for your dedication and, and service to your fellow employees. We greatly appreciate it. Um, pleased to have you on our team. And at White River, Mary Daniels from the medical records department who's been with us for 17 years. She was recognized uh, representing environmental service. Mary, thank you so much uh, for, for taking ownership and being part of our family and our team. We appreciate you. Congratulations to both of you on being recognized for your service. In our news area, uh, we want to welcome Dylan Estes to our uh, family. He's going to be, he's a family medicine doctor, just joined us and will be practicing at Batesville Family Care. Dylan, welcome to the family. Glad to have you with us. We look forward to you establishing uh, your practice in our community and, and serving with us uh, alongside of our other, other physicians. Um, on September 17th, our annual prostate screening will take place at White River Medical Center. We do need volunteers for this. Uh, if you're willing to, to help out, uh, give Bailey Williams a call in marketing and see how you could be of assistance. A great way for us to be proactive in helping our community um, do preventative screening and make sure that they don't have issues that become uh, bigger problems down the road. October 22nd, uh, it's time again for Women's uh, the Health Expo, the Health First Expo. And, um, great opportunity. Last year we had over 900 women attend this event. It's a great opportunity for us to do education, uh, for to do some screenings and to help our, the women in our community understand uh, ways to take better care of themselves and ways we can help them uh, live a healthier life. If you're interested in a booth for that event, uh, feel free to uh, give Bailey Williams a call um, and see how you can be uh, you can reach out and be part of that uh, fantastic event within our community. Lastly, we want to make sure that you're aware of uh, the employee appreciation event that's coming up August 16th and 17th. If you remember last year, we reached out and, and pulled all of you to see if you were interested in us doing an event again, and you said yes, you were. We've chosen two, two evenings, uh, uh, August 16th and 17th, the Friday and Saturday evening from 6 to 9. We want to make sure with, uh, with our organizations never closing that everyone has an opportunity to come and participate celebrate for yourselves and your families. Our families um, sacrifice so much the time that we spend serving um, in our industry. We want to make sure we get to thank them for, uh, for their sacrifice of their, your time away from them. So make sure you come out. It'll be at the Batesville Aquatic Center from 6 to 9. We'll have games. We'll have swimming available. We'll have food available. Door prizes. It looks like it'll be a great event. We're excited to bring it back to you. Um, and we hope to see you there. Uh, have a great rest of your August. We will see you in September and look forward to talking to you again.